Hello everyone, today we will continue with the building Z drives. But first I want to show you something. And this is the CAD file of version 2.4. And right now it's only showing the Z drives. And for the Z drives I will use a mod made by Edward Yeeks. I hope I could pronounce that correctly. And if you see the default one, the vanilla one, we have main part and motor part. This is the motor bracket. So motor bracket is screwed to frame by two screws. It's same for also the main part. Again, we are using two screws to mount the main part to frame. So if we, this is the uh, mod of the Z drive. So let me hide this code for now. Yes and if you see this one and again these two part also uh, connected with two screw to frame but also this accent via this accent part we are screwing this two part together so what will be the help so the help will be it will reduce the bending on the bracket part so if you see the vanilla one so that since there is a tension belt closed belt between these two parts so the motor bracket will try to move from left to right and it's same for the main part it will also try try to move from right to left because of the tension belt but via mods because of we because we are uh, screwing them together it will prevent to bending at least it will reduce it so that's why i will use this mod and for to use this mod you need to uh, if you already print the uh, parts you need to reprint the accent this accent part which we are using in mod uh, to mount these two together and you need to reprint the motor bracket because the this part is added in the mod and also you need to print your skirt the front and rear skirts so, let me show you yeah if you see the the surface this is the modded one this part is different in the modded one and let me unhide it yeah and this is the surface of the the vanilla one so the skirt is also changed so you need to reprint three pieces per drive and we have four drive for the v 2.4 so you need to reprint 12 pieces so let's start with the build now we can start with the z drives but first i will file this rods a bit because they are not cut so that means they are just circular so we want it like this shaft of the extruder motor if it can focus yeah if you can see this part this part is flat so this part where the grub nuts are sitting so that way it's helping to uh, not to lose uh, these grab nuts while rotating so you will be on the safe space so for that I will use my clamp again and file these rods flat a bit we don't need to be that much precise we just need a flat surface on it so see you in a bit <laughs> Stuff, I guess now as you can see yeah there is a flat surface on it so this surface on this surface the uh, one of the grab nuts will sit so I hope they will not lose it 
Now they all have the flat surface, so we can proceed with the next one. I just put the 16 tooth pulleys on the motors, and I we will align this pulleys later on. For now, just be careful about the orientation, not the um, position. Um, yeah, now we will do the Z drive shaft. For that we need to use 625 type of bearing and this is the, uh, the bearing that came with kit. This is the ZZ type and I will not use this one since uh, they are spec, they are recommending the RS type. The only the ceiling is different with the other one. This, this, is the, this has plastic, plastic ceilings so now we will stack them. So we will. Ah, another thing is, if your uh, aluminum rod, uh, it's not fitting the pulleys and the bearings, you can just put these on the um, cordless drill, and with holding with the sandpaper like that, and run cordless drill a bit, and it will reduce the diameter of the rod a bit. So after that, you can place it like this. So we need to put one bearings and one eight tooth pulley yes like this this part will came to the right yeah um, loosen the screws again yeah yes um two M5 shim create space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another six hundred another bearing. Okay, and um, 20 feet, 9 millimeter pulley, it will be positioned like that, so the total part will came here, but before that, of course, we need to put another M5 shim, actually two of them. So, um, bearing, a uh, pulley, and Another bearing. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Yeah, this is this will be the shaft. So uh, one bearing, 80 tooth pulley, two M5 shim, one bearing, two M5 shim, mm, 20 teeth. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 20 teeth and nine millimeter pulley and another bearing. So, so this will be our Z drive shaft. So then now it's the fun part. Fun part, yeah. Then we will put it like this. So I will place it in here. No. Yeah, this one. So. can see there there are already the housing for the bearings so the bearings will sit on there and this needs to be turned freely okay yes and now 
let me prepare four of them after that i will be busy with the uh, locking these uh, police Now we will align the pulleys and tighten them after applying thread locker. So this middle bearing our reference. So we want to tighten them like this. So this bearing, we will force this bearing to move to right and for this one to left. So I will remove the grab lens, grab screws. And of course, one of the screw should be sit on the flat uh, surface that we create, that I created. Just a bit. Smooth. Now we will put the uh, closed bells and assemble them together, screw them together. And we'll use M3 by 40 to screw them. While I'm screwing or unscrew unscrewing something, I'm always going back like this, uh, like this one, two, three, four, five, six. Like I explained, I'm using the mod, so if you are using the vanilla piece, you need to put this one. So this is the this is the replacement for this one. by eight so this place oops
output to feeds with M5 unscrew. Now we install the motor brackets. Again, this is the modded one. Um, if you are using the vanilla one, it's looking like this. So different is this part is added to screw it together with the other part. So in here, I will screw them together. Again, we will use M358. While uh, putting this, consider this. Uh, uh, consider your wire orientation also. For example, if you mount it like this, so like this, the wire is going up. So this part will be a, um, a screw the frame, and your wire will go up. You don't want that. Is should be. It should. Uh, it should be going to left or right ac according to what bracket you are using for example this is the uh, ledge part so this will be this can be front left or rear right so that means since this is front left my motor should be mounted like this so my wire will go to go to the um, motherboard in this way this way this this part will be the corner roughly corner of the build
And the next, as I show in the manual, we will put the bottom, uh, bottom panel and the thin rails. Hello again. And since I don't have the proper setup, I can show you how to mount these Z drives on the frames and the thin rails. So I will try to explain how to die. So first I will put my bottom panel and after that I will put four uh, T-nuts on the frames for the beds. And the, these thin rails, thin rails slightly uh, longer than the, uh, the this frame I can say so for that I did file a bit but it was just um, maybe one millimeter or something like that and after that these these uh, the the holes are not matching with the T nut so I with my cordless drill I extended the holes and with M5 by 10 I screwed these thin rails on the, the bed frame and after assembling the Z drives, I put on them two frames. For that, we need four uh, M5 T nut per drive. And I just aligned them with the holes. And after that, this was, I think, this hole M5 by 40, and these are M5 by, by 10. After uh, tightening these M5 by 40s, I insert this screw. And but not tighten it. So after inserting this uh, <clears throat> latch again, I put the screw, and again I didn't. Uh, what do you call? I didn't tighten it. So this latch is actually facing like that. It's not while you are assembling it. So uh, then you need to. Uh, put the latch in place so it will help you to tighten these belts with this latch you are actually tightening these belts these closed belts so after <clears throat> putting the latch in place tighten these uh, screws and I did tighten these screws so if you are like I said I am using the, the mod for the Z drives if you are not using the mod you will not have these screws so you only need to screw, uh, tighten these two screw. I repeated this for all Z drives. Now they are ready. And <clears throat> another thing is, while I'm, if you you already seen the video, but I uh, misplaced this stepper motors. What I meant, this connector was facing the this this uh, side. So I unscrewed them and turn them uh, 180 degree so now it's okay is I can say that this connector or the cable of the stepper motors needs to uh, match with the thick side of the bracket so this is the thinner side this is the thick side so in every bracket the cable of the or motor or the connector of the motor is in the same direction with the thick side of the bracket. Now we will continue with the Z idlers. For that first uh, we need to insert a M3 hex nut in here. For that I'm using a screw to hold into place. I will just screw a bit. Then now it's set, set in place. Oh, okay. And we need a 9mm 22 idler. Like this. in the final position this part by the way with this uh, screw actually we will um, we will do the fine tuning for the our Z belts so if you think about that so it will 
Uh, think about that, this is the top part of the frame. This is the Z drive, the bottom part. And the belts going down to Z drive and coming back to idler. So to tighten the belts, actually you need to <clears throat> leave a space in here. So it, did, it this part shouldn't uh, be screwed to till the end. So because of that, I will unscrew it and yeah, now you can see it's movable. So assume that the belt is running in here. So when I tighten it while the belt is installed, it will pull the belt to itself. So it will uh, increase the tension of the belt. So because of that, uh, I will leave it loose like that but I'll be careful about the, uh, also uh, the T nuts because the, uh, the, the the screw should be should not with the T nut so I can say it's a flat right now I don't know can I show you yeah it's kind of flat in here so for all of that I will do it like it so it's the screw the the end of the screw is flush with the M3 uh, hex nut. So for the idler, we will put our idler and use M5530. Okay. And I will not tighten this one. There is no need to tighten this one because this one will only uh, hold the, our idler. So you need to leave it loose a bit. It is just the, 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 the button head is just flush with the plastic part. Now, if you can see, it's moving freely. So, yep, now I will prepare the other parts. Just check your idlers in the final, in the most down position. Yeah, as you can see, it is touching my idlers. The, screw so I will uh, tighten a bit and try again yeah Like I said, we will do the fine tune tuning uh, after installing the belts, Z belts, Z belts. Now we need to install these idlers on the frame. Now we will install the Z idlers on the frame. So uh, these uh, nuts will be sitting on the frames. So and this will help you to orientate your idlers. Another thing is you need to check the Idler's, posi idler's position. These idlers needs to be same direction with the uh, Z drives pulley. So, if you check the Z, uh, Z drives while installing them, you will find the correct position for the idlers. For example, this one is like that, and my idlers are also this. These pulleys on the idlers are like this position. This is the frame, this position, so uh, my idlers will um, place like this, this and the opposite direction. I mean this and the just opposite one. <coughs> so if I check the frame also, so I need to, yeah, for example it will be like that. So. We will need two M5 pinups and we will use M5 by 30. Now I'm trying to align the pinups with the screws. Now I did screw a uh, bit screws. Now they are holding the pinups. Now I will place the idlers in place. Now I will tighten them. 
because otherwise it could be hard for you to align the tenons with the <clears throat> holes on the part. That was all for the Z parts. We assembled and put them on the place, on the frames, and uh, obviously our Z drives and Z idlers. And in the next one I will prepare the bed, but I will not be installing it because uh, especially while we will do the wiring we need to uh, turn around these frames a lot so of course it will add weight etc so uh, it will become harder if we install the bed now so i will just prepare it and after wiring is finished i guess i will install it on its place that was all like i said and see you on the next one